Hey, welcome back YouTube. Welcome to my kitchen. My name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. Um, representing Food Wars, where are my Food War peeps at? So I got this from a limited box set, collector's edition, whatever, of Food Wars uh, season one. So got my little uh, apron on. What I wanna do is a video for this month. I basically have a Friendsgiving that's coming up this weekend with some neighbors of mine. So we're all pitching in, bringing different items, and we're just gonna to get together and have a really nice meal and enjoy each other's company. And I thought to myself, let me share some of these recipes that I have with you guys. So maybe you have a Friendsgiving or a Thanksgiving that's coming up um, or a potluck at your work and they're asking you to bring something. And usually you're like, eh, I'll bring corn, I'll bring rolls, I'll bring drinks. This time, this year, I want you to, to volunteer and say, you know what, I got just the thing, I'll bring the cranberry sauce. And I know a lot of people are thinking, wait, cranberry sauce, like that jelly crap in a can? And this, in this case, no. You're gonna blow them out of the water with this recipe. This is a cranberry fig chutney. So you got a lot of different flavors going on. And what makes it really easy, in my opinion, is that it's in one pot. You throw everything in, you know, cook it down, boil it, reduce it, and then just let it cool put it in a jar or whatever and you're good to go. So it's super easy. You can keep it in the fridge probably for a couple weeks. It'll last. So you can make it in advance, make it in big batches and it's awesome. And to me, it's something that you could even give away as a gift to friends or family. Um, so I'll go over the details. Before we do that, please like this video so other people searching for friends giving recipes and things can find it. Also, it'll help me out if you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach my first 100 subs. So please subscribe, that'll really help me out. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first is you're gonna go ahead and rinse off your cranberries. Just make sure there's no twigs or stems or anything there. And then just go ahead and do the same, rinse off your orange and we're gonna take the figs. You can get whichever kind you like, California figs or whatnot. I have these here. And you'll notice that the figs have a little stem at the top and then a piece at the bottom that's kind of stiff. So you're gonna remove those. And then we're just gonna chop these up into small chunks. So you just wanna go ahead and um, get that all diced up and then throw that into the pot along with the cranberries. And then same thing with your orange, peel it and make sure you get all the white pith off because that's bitter. And then you're gonna take your orange and just dice that up into small chunks, throw that in the pot as well. Okay, and then next we're gonna take the ginger piece. This is about a three inch piece of ginger and you're just gonna peel it. And then the trick here, instead of dicing this and getting bigger chunks of ginger in the mix, you're just gonna go ahead and take a microplane and grate that up super fine and throw that into the pot as well. Lastly, the uh, thing that we need to chop up is the red onion. So you're just gonna go ahead and dice that super fine. I don't like big chunks of onion in the chutney, so that's just something I do, but whatever you wanna do is fine, but I just dice it real fine like here and throw about a quarter cup of that red onion in the pot. Lastly, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt and then half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then we're gonna to toss in the one and a half cups of sugar and we're pretty much done with getting that all prepared. All right, so bring this to your stove, put it on about medium to medium low heat and just stir it and get that all incorporated and then you'll see it start to melt over time. And you're just gonna keep stirring and keep it on about medium heat. Once it starts to come to a boil, go ahead and you can turn the heat up a little bit and we're just gonna let this uh, boil for about 10 minutes. Now, I would suggest covering it until all of the cranberries have burst and then it'll start to um, fully reduce. And once you get to about eight minutes, you can even turn the heat off and just let it do its thing. And it'll eventually thicken up like you see here. And once that's cooled, just go ahead and let it set, maybe 30 minutes or so. And then you can put it into a jar and you're good to go. And I promise you'll never go back to that jelly canned stuff ever again. So let me know what you guys think if you try this recipe out. Thanks for giving it a watch and I definitely look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. All right, take care.